Well, Hawaii is joining forces with California, Oregon, and Washington in what's being called the West Coast Health Alliance. Now, their goal, making sure public health decisions are rooted in science and not politics. So let's bring in our Island News reporter, Gil Kano. So, Gil, what does this mean for us here in Hawaii? Lay, the four governors involved saying it's all about giving Hawaii residents consistent evidence-based guidance on vaccines and public health, reinforcing they'll stand together to protect their communities without any political interference. Hawaii is now standing shoulder to shoulder with California, Oregon, and Washington, joining what's called the West Coast Health Alliance. The goal, protecting public health with science and evidence, not politics. Together, the four states say they'll provide consistent vaccine and public health recommendations no matter what happens at the federal level. We are the sickest country in the world. That's why we have to fire people at CDC. They did not do their job. But critics say dismantling long-trusted federal health advisory bodies leaves families with more confusion, not less. That's why the alliance argues evidence-based guidance matters now more than ever. So the undermining of all of the infrastructure and the science is making everybody uncertain. But still the vast majority of Americans vaccinate their children on schedule. And what they deserve from us is clear recommendations and guidance. Governor Josh Green says Hawaii's track record speaks for itself, with some of the highest vaccination rates and lowest mortality rates during the pandemic. The alliance will now work on the shared principles to strengthen trust in vaccines and public health, while letting each state adapt strategies for their own communities. The bottom line, four states, one alliance, standing together to keep families healthy. This alliance officially launched just over 24 hours ago. Hawaii quick to jump in. They say just in time for respiratory illness season. In the newsroom, Gil Kano, Island News.